Does a longer golf shaft generate more distance and more club speed, or do you hit it further offline? This is gonna be a great comparison. Hey golfers, I'm Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. I have a very intriguing test today. I'm gonna to be comparing two exact same golf shafts, just at different lengths. Today I'm gonna to be hitting a whole bunch of shots with driver length at 45 inches and driver length at 46 and a half inches. Will that extra one and a half inches generate more speed, generate more distance? or will I hit it a lot further offline? So this is gonna be really interesting. For today's test, I have the Mitsubishi Tenzai CK Pro Orange Golf Shaft, both the 60 Tor X Golf Shafts. Gonna be a very interesting test. There's gonna be some changes to swing weight because when you have a longer golf shaft, the club swing weight is going to be heavier. So I've initially measured the swing weight the 45 inch driver swing weight came in around about C8, while the 46 and a half inch driver swing weight came in around about D6. So there is definitely gonna be a difference because the golf shaft is one and a half inches longer. I'm gonna be testing with the Callaway Epic Speed Driver, nine degrees of loft. Let's hit some shots. So let's start off with the 45 inch driver shaft. I'm gonna hit a total of eight shots with each length. I'm gonna hit four initially, I'll hit four then with 46 and a half, and then I'll come around and do a second round to total eight shots with each length. It's amazing how much curve I'm putting on this golf ball. That would explain why the ball was going left. Yep, so that's the first four swings in. I'm willing to bet I won't hit it in the same spot with a longer golf shaft. So initially after four shots with each length golf shaft, are we seeing any differences? Well, the one thing that stood out to me is, yes, I was getting more club speed with the longer golf shaft. We picked up about two miles an hour more club speed. But what stood out to me right now is the consistency on the club speed. With the 45 inch driver shaft, every single time I was swinging about 111 miles an hour. We'll notice with the 46 and a half inch club speed, it was just maybe a little bit more sporadic with regards to the club speed, but it was a little bit faster with the longer golf shaft. If we look here, we can see the efficiency, the smash factor numbers were both 148, so really not too much with regards to hit location. I did feel like I was catching the ball a little bit more on the toe side of the club with the 45 inch versus the 46 and a half inch driver shaft. Keep in mind, I also play a driver shaft length that is 45 and a half. So for me, the 45 inch driver shaft felt a little bit too short for me because I feel like if I'm going to bring a club a little bit closer to me, now I'm gonna catch it a little bit more on the toe side as opposed to bringing the club a little further away from you. Now you're gonna catch the ball a little bit more on the, uh, on the heel side. So if I was gonna set up with a shorter club, it's gonna feel like for me that I'm standing a little bit further this way. Now I'm gonna catch the ball on the on the toe. If I add that inch and a half, notice what happens to where the ball kinda of goes there too. So I thought it was kinda of interesting that I was hitting a little bit more towards the center. Now this is gonna be different for everyone and also depending on a player's skill level as well. When you have a 46 and a half inch driver shaft, if your skill level isn't as consistent, you may hit it heel, toe, Middle, middle occasionally, high, low on the face, where a shorter golf shaft would just be a little bit more consistent in general. I hit that one well.
Okay, so, so far these swings have been a general smooth golf swing. I'm gonna talk about the numbers and then I'm gonna optimize this 46 and a half inch driver to see kind of what happens. And I'll explain why I want to optimize it and why I want to maybe swing a little faster right now because I'm still hitting the ball very, very high. But if you notice, basically up two miles an hour more club speed with the longer golf shaft than the shorter golf shaft. So I picked up two miles an hour more club speed with a golf shaft that is one and a half inches longer. So generally I'm gonna pick up more ball speed we no notice the smash factor numbers, they're very, very similar. It's kind of interesting how with the 45 inch driver shaft, my efficiency was actually a little bit lower. And that definitely comes down to hit location. So I do want to bring up hit location really quickly. So first touching on the 45 inch driver shaft. So I mentioned you may catch it a little bit more on the toe side. So you'll notice pretty consistent just a little bit out there on the toe. If we look, switch it to the 46 and a half inch driver shaft, a little bit closer. So it wasn't quite as far out on the toe side, still ever so slightly out on the toe side, but it was consistently just a little bit closer to the middle. So that's really important to note. So going back to the numbers, we can definitely see that launch angle pretty similar. It's actually launching a little higher with the 45 inch driver shaft, but I will touch on that because it launched a little higher, but it actually flew a little bit lower while with the 46 and a half inch driver shaft, it launched a little bit lower, but actually flew a little bit higher. If we look at spin, spin we're talking within 100 RPMs difference between the two of them. Just a little bit more spin with the longer golf shaft. Yeah, if we move on over here, the big difference here is with more club speed, I was able to get more carry distance, a little bit extra height. So we'll notice the height, once again, the dynamic loft was actually a little bit less with the 46 and a half inch driver shaft, but the total height and the total landing angle was a little bit higher with the 46 and a half inch golf shaft. So I mentioned optimization. So we are going to optimize this driver. I was lucky enough to get a Callaway two degree less loft cog. So it's the green dot cog. I believe this is like a tour only cog, but I was able to get this built up. So I'm able to turn this driver into seven degrees of loft. So let's hit some shots with a little bit more optimization because you'll notice that my attack angle, we notice the total height is still very, very high. I'm typically hitting up on the ball about seven degrees right now with my attack angle. If I hit up on the ball seven degrees with nine degrees of loft, it's still a little high. So I wanna bring that down a little bit. I wanna chase a little bit more distance and I wanna go after a little bit. Right now I've just hit some smooth golf swings. I wanna make the most of my club speed with this longer golf shaft and see what happens. That was hit well. Well, this is very interesting. So this is really important to note. So if we look here, when I went after a little bit faster, I was able to generate a little more club speed, a little bit more ball speed. A little bit more ball speed, maybe with a little bit less off loft on the golf club. But what's kind of interesting is I kind of hit at the same distance. I actually hit the total distance just a little bit shorter even though I went down on loft. And that's due to my golf swing, my specific way that I swing the golf club when I swing fast, my attack angle gets so far up. So when I was actually hitting these shots, my attack angle got almost to nine degrees up which is too high. So it's definitely too high. So I didn't really gain anything. If we take a look at the dispersion pattern here, you can see the purple circle, that was total distance there with regards to um, the driver. And you can see when I was hitting it at nine degrees, you had five yellow dots up there that were performing really well. And then also coming back to the, the nine degree 45 inch driver shaft. Notice how I had a lot of white dots very, very close together. So we had two that I missed over there to the left, but if you were gonna take out those two and keep up kind of the best six, we'll notice that there's five very, very close together. So end of the day, I don't think there's a need to go crazy long with your golf shaft. It definitely comes down to optimization and it definitely comes down to the player's tendency. But when I swung faster, I had less loft on the driver at an inch and a half longer, 
you can see, I really didn't actually didn't hit it any further. I generated more speed, I generated more club and ball speed, but it's really kind of interesting to see that nothing really changed. And that's because the height went up when I particularly swung faster. Not saying that any golf with that will happen, but it's kind of interesting. The higher you hit it, the more ball is going to spin, the less distance you're going to get. So we take a look at the total and carry distance really quickly. You can see when I was at the driver at seven degrees, hit up the ball a little more, carried the ball two yards further, but it actually went two yards less. I really only hit the ball five yards further from going from 45 inches to 46 and a half inches. For me, that is not worth it. I want the consistency. I want to know that I'm going to hit the ball in the fairway more often, and that is the most important thing there too. So I'm going to have this golf shaft. It's going to be probably for a golf course that's going to be wide open where I don't need to have a importance on hitting the fairway, but I'm going to stick with the same length golf shaft that I've been currently playing at about 45 and a half inches long. So if you're interested in even testing a longer golf shaft out or figuring out what club head, what golf shaft is important for you, come on into second swing, bring your current driver in, we'll test against yours and we'll find a better solution. Hopefully we can help you upgrade into some newer technology and by bringing in your club you can also trade that in for some newer technology and help offset the prices too. So come on into Second Swing and get fit like a pro.